that's cool. Got to set you up with better touch tool as well. The thing that like you can make things big easily. So let's have a look what you got. So you're basically just using this one. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So you got fifty three review and you got eighteen new. So what I would usually do is I would have like two decks and one's like um, one's like Chinese repository or something like that and then this one's like Chinese I call it in circulation okay so when you make um, new cards you make them here in here Okay. Um, if you press B, B, you go to browse. Enter to see the current deck. So, let's just say. Well, I'm gonna hit. I want some more fields here. So if I, I think if I hold Control and click, I can look at some more. So reviews. So I'll order it by reviews, and then we can see. So all these ones you haven't studied yet. No. So what I'll do is I'll move them to out your repository, and then looking down here to the ones where you've reviewed heaps, they're probably the ones you're really struggling with, all right? Yeah. So are these the hard ones. Yeah. Anything up ten or something? That's maybe just like eleven. This one hard. Yeah. So we'll oh, actually, that's fine. I've just had that for ages. But. So we'll move them to the repository, right? Okay. And then you got these ones. Assuming you can do this or whatever. I mean, they might be too hard, but whatever. So we go to your repository, and so what your study should look like in your anchor study should look like in a morning. Yeah. Is you come in. You say, okay, I'm going to spend half an hour on Anki every morning, right? Uh -huh. um, your cards should take like, your review cards should take like 15 minutes or something like that. Uh, so you spend 15 minutes, you study all them. When that time is up, so you've set an alarm for half an hour. When that when you finish through that, you go, you go into repository um, and you go to browse. Now, what you want to do is you want to start off with all these suspended. Okay, so they're all suspended. And then you just, you're just like looking at this one, saying, how do you say will? Yeah, okay. And so this is, this is just manually doing these. Okay. And what you're doing is you're doing them lots and lots and lots and lots of times until they get easy. And when they get easy, when you're like, I know that well now, then you move into it in circulation deck and you start space repetition with it. Oh, okay. So basically the idea is if you're just starting space repetition straight off the bat, you're going to stuff yourself up because a lot of the stuff you don't actually know mm -hmm. and space repetition isn't for learning, it's for revising. Okay. So you say, will, yeah, long draw, so that's how you say that. What about, and also how do you say that? I don't know. No, no. Okay. Hi, yo. You probably live more I'd say. Hong Kong? You don't know. Yeah, yeah so exactly. So what, that's what you're going to do. So you're going to go. Ready for that? And for the remaining 15 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, you just go through them. You look at it, taking the train. Or two, two. So I haven't got them. So okay, you need to back that up because that's too much info, obviously. Yeah. How? Summer. Sweet. Dress. So see. Early. Oh, see, these, these are these are good. That's all right. Probably not too hard. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So that's basically it. Because you need to be learning it before you put it into SRS, otherwise you're going to do exactly what I did, which is they're not spending like an hour 
Yeah. And just getting hits all those reasons, yeah. And so when, when you do that, so as you're going through, when you hit them and they're good, you go like, oh, yeah. That one can be unsuspended. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yep, yeah, I know that one. Unsuspend that. And then you can say, is active. Oh, it's not easy for you. Or we can do it the other way around, even. You have to select them all and then get oh, no. I, I don't think you can sort by whether it's suspended or not. So look, do it do it this other way. Do it as if they're all not suspended. Mm -hmm. And when you see the ones that are you can do, suspend them. Mm -hmm. And then you go is suspended. And that will bring up why they all suspended. So they're all not suspended now. Okay, so as you go through, you click them and you say suspend that, suspend that, suspend that. I know those ones. And then at the end of the 15 minutes or whatever, you suspended. I like them all. And move them into the insert creation deck. Okay. And then tomorrow, you know. And then when you're in your, your, your circulation deck, say you're studying, and you, um, so you're studying in your in circulation deck and you come up to one and you're like, oh, I don't actually know how to say this. Um, like if it's just a little bit not sure and you're like, oh, looking at the, using SRS is probably okay because I do actually know it's just like a little mistake, then you can leave it in circulation. Otherwise, you probably want to go like shift at or more suspend card and then again at the end of that session put it back you go to browse and you go current deck and go is suspended it'll bring up that one and then you go okay and I'll move that is that too hard or is that one right yeah it's kind of too hard. so then we can move that there and what this enables you to do is really easily keep track of whether you're doing a good amount, a good balance of reviewing stuff and introducing new content. Because you can easily, when you're in this, when you're repository, mm -hmm. you know you've got 55 cards. And you know, you might find that it's good to have maybe 20 cards in here. Because you've got 15 minutes. Probably 50 is like, mm. I don't know, you find out for yourself. Yeah. Right? And so if this is starting, the number starting to climb and climb and climb, you know you're introducing so content. Down. Yeah, and consolidate what you've learned. Um, so yeah, any question? Um, so you you didn't you, you didn't feel like you needed to use images at all. Do you use them at any point? But you can use images. I think the most helpful thing to do is to have the Chinese pod dialogues that you've already studied on a playlist on your phone or something, and then. You just listen to them in the background while you're doing other stuff. But are you paying? You're not paying attention to them while they're going. So you can, you can do that as well. But you don't have to. You can like I would do that at the same time as like making my lunch for the next day, or something like that. Because yeah. you are, you know, you try to try to listen, but also your brain's just, you know, encoding those sentences. And it will really help you with your pronunciation and grammar and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you do pay attention when you can, but then you can't like do another stuff and yeah. stuff like that. And that will develop that automat automaticity so you can say them fluently and, and put the sound in stuff. Yeah. Images, you know, I, I think images are good, but I, I, I don't think it's worth your time to put images I in. I was fine. It was taking a while. I was yeah. like, but I am remembering it a lot better. Yeah. But... It is taking a lot longer. It will improve it. Okay. Thanks, Al. Oh. All right, sir. Thank you.